Salutations, good people of YouTube. I'm Toozy Porygon, and for my next playthrough, uh, just like with Call of Duty Modern Warfare on PlayStation 4, this is going to be a playthrough of a remastered game that was first released in 2007. And that game is... Bioshock. That's right, I'm going to be playing Bioshock Remastered for Nintendo Switch. And unlike with most other games that I play for the Switch, uh, Bioshock is a digital copy. I bought this one from the Nintendo eShop, and there is a physical copy for the Switch version of the Bioshock Collection, which I think also includes Bioshock 2 and Infinite, but I was really only interested in playing for the first game. And now I'm going to record the first game for you all. Bioshock is known as, well I'm not sure if people say it's a masterpiece, but it's definitely a great game. I certainly enjoy it myself. And I even have this game on Xbox 360, but to tell you the truth, I never actually beat in the Xbox 360 version. I mean, I have made it close to the end of the game in that version, but I never actually finished it. Plus, I was playing that game on the easy difficulty because it was my first time playing Bioshock. Uh, for this version, however, I did actually beat the Switch version. In fact, I also played it on the normal difficulty. So, since I can beat this game on normal once, well, of course, I can do it again here. Blind Squirrel Games? Oh boy. And man, this game has a lot of logos to show. Okay, get to the title screen now. Yep, it's just this. Now, the menu on the Switch version is completely different from the original versions, like on Xbox 360 and PS3. Like, in those versions, there was uh, a lot less, uh, uh, things to choose. Like, there was no director's commentary, museum, or DLC or anything. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think you really even care for that, right? You just want to see the game. So, since I beat this game before, I have an option to play New Game Plus. But, I think I'm not going to do that. Let's do a regular new game. And you also have the option to adjust the brightness before starting. I think I'll leave it at that. And there are four difficulty selections, as opposed to three for the original versions. There was no Survivor difficulty in the 360 version that I have. But of course, I'm, as always, I'm no incredible expert at video games. And I'm not going to play easy either. I did that before on the 360. I'm choosing medium. Of course I'm familiar with first-person shooters. I recorded several Call of Duty games. Time to watch the opening sequence. Nineteen sixty Mid Atlantic. Okay, so this game takes place in the sixties. Good to know. They told me, son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. And then all of a sudden the game's title shows up. Although it sounds like the plane heat that guy is in is going out of control. No doubt that plane is gonna crash. That must be me, underwater. Better get to the surface quick, buddy. Come on, hurry! Swim faster! Well, of course the plane crashed. It totally, very clearly sounded like it. Holy mu- Oh my god! The water is on fire, which makes no sense at all, because water usually puts out fire. So how it's on fire is beyond me. But as the game starts, after the plane crash, you gotta get swimming over to that tall tower over there. Well, there's some of the plane's remains. And the fire is still spreading. I also don't know the name of the character I'm playing as. 
I saw a name on the present he had. It said Jack, but I'm guessing that this Jack is this guy's son or something? I don't really know, but... My character is about to survive as soon as he reaches the stairs here. Well, so much for the plane. And this place right here is dark. Uh, who shut this door? And who turned on the lights? No gods or kings, only men? Propaganda. What is this place? Oh, and I just remembered. You you saw that there were no subtitles during that opening cutscene. Okay, even though the subtitles are already enabled. Strangely, there were still no subtitles during that opening. Now, what is this? Some kind of bathysphere? Well, uh... I might as well just go with it. I may just go on an underwater adventure. At least riding in this bathysphere is better than swimming. Ten fathoms? Where is this bathysphere taking me? What, what the... What is this? Plasmids by Ryan Industries. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose... Rapture. Whoa. Now, oh well, my god, look at this. The artist would not fear the censor. Where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality. Where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, Rapture. Can become your city as well. This this is called Rapture? Wow, it's some kind of underwater utopia. And I admit, it looks beautiful. Hey, there's a whale down there. Fish swimming by and even underwater neons. This is absolutely gorgeous. Although I have heard of the term looks can be deceiving because as beautiful as Rapture looks, Suppy tells me it's also pretty dangerous. On the inside, especially. Into the city. Well, that's clearly where I'm going. Okay, welcome to Rapture. Well, thank you for the welcome, I guess, but... Somebody tells me it's not going to be a very friendly welcome. And the game showing you the controls at the bottom. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, lights, please. Holy crap! Oh my god. That guy's getting murdered. Sweet Jesus. What are you? You killed that guy using those sickles. Oh my god, get away from me! Get off this bathysphere! Well, I was right that the inside of Rapture is gonna be pretty dangerous. 
What's happening? The whole Bath Spear is shaking. Is that monster gone? No. Oh, no. It's still there. A radio? Okay. I don't know how you survived that plane crash, but I've never been one to question Providence. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Now keep on moving. We're gonna have to get you to higher ground. Now how did this guy know that I survived the plane crash? Take a deep breath and step out of the atmosphere. I won't leave you twisting in the wind. We're gonna need to draw her out of hiding, but you're gonna have to trust me. Why should I trust you? I don't even know you. And what is this light at chamber? So you can see that you can hit the minus button to see what certain things are. It says that the blighted chamber is for whenever you're killed by hostiles, then you'll uh, respawn inside the blighted chamber at the last one that you pass. And well, it does say that you'll still have some of the items that you have when you die. But anyway, I guess I better do what that Atlas guy says. Man, look at this place. It's a total mess. What happened to Rapture? Oh my god. Oh, uh, I think that robot's gonna kill it. Or chase it away, at least. Okay, so splicers are what these monsters are called. But here's where you get your first weapon in the game. A monkey wrench. I assume this is called a monkey wrench anyway. And you gotta break your way through here and crawl under. And... Oh, oh my god! A flaming sofa? Now who threw that down here? Oh no. Uh, back off you! I have a monkey wrench and I'm not afraid to use it! A thuggish splicer. And you can see you can search the enemies that you killed to get items. So you saw that I got myself an e-pipo and a first aid kit. I think it's obvious what the first aid kits do, while well, the e-pipos, they restore your e, which is the blue meter on the upper left. And you'll see what eve is as soon as I obtain that power. And you can also buy, find food lying around to restore your health. Of course, they only restore a small amount of health. But now you need to go upstairs. Of course, you can see the left stairs are blocked. Plasmids? Okay. Is that what my character's about to have? Yep, I think he is. Oh, I think it's... Th that's gonna be painful. Ooh. He gave himself some kind of injection. A shocking injection. Your genetic code is being rewritten. Just hold on and everything will be fine. It doesn't look like everything will be fine. Oh my god. Is this guy dead? Okay, I'm not, but... This little fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Wonder if he's still got some Adam on him. Hey, just leave me alone. Yeah. Let's fuck weak. You're a weak chopper. This little fish I'm worth telling it would not be that yellow. Always have been. You'll be no better off with a metal daddy, little fish. See you floating. Well, uh, at least they spared me. What the heck is that thing? It's something... It's a big creature with a drill arm. Look, Mr. Bubbles. It's an angel. I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute. Oh, boy. He's still breathing. Uh, 
It's all right. I know he'll be an angel soon. So, uh, I now have a plasma ability called, I think it, yeah, Electrobolt, and you use it on this door control to get this door open. What the heck? What, what, what is that? It's part of the plane's remains. All the water's coming in. You have to go through the plane part. Must get out here before this hallway floods. Okay, no going through there. So, the game's telling you that you hit the L button, or, uh, well, either L or ZL to equip your plasmid, while R and ZR equips your weapon. And throughout the game, you'll be giving a whole lot of options to search for things. Whether it's a, a dead enemy, or boxes, or even desks. What? Give him the combo. Snap him, then whack him. One two punch. Remember, the one two punch. Okay, I'm gonna zap this placer, and then maul it with my wrench. And killing it was easy. So you can use the electro bolt on enemies to temporarily stun them. But keep in mind that using plasmid uses up your Eve. And right now, the Eve meter will keep draining pretty fast. But there will be a way to upgrade it, so you can reduce the consumption. I didn't touch her! Hey, back off you! Get down! And eat my wrench! I'll be taking these items from you, thank you very much. Don't, don't worry, I'm sorry. Well, it is pretty cool to have it, uh, electric abilities, but... I just wanted some Am I really gonna survive this whole adventure? And that splicer was on fire, holy crap. Okay, uh, anything else I can pick up? Anything else I can search? Let's say that's a no. You now need to take the elevator. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing to pick up here either. Let's move along. No doubt this is the only working elevator in this room. So, Atlas is relying on this guy to save his family. Well, I do hope that I can get his family back. But you can see that shadow over there. There's another splicer. And she's about to die. And she was completely unaware of my presence, too. So I take it that means that Rapture used to be a very peaceful underwater city, but I guess thanks to this plasmid stuff, everything's gone pretty chaotic. So I just picked up my second weapon, a pistol, which looks like a, a magnum, like a broken butterfly in Resident Evil 4. Now if you hold down the R button, you can uh, scroll between the multiple weapons that you have, and the same goes for plasmid. Okay, well, once I get my second plasmid ability, I'll be able to show you the plasmid wheel. Oh, this place was a restaurant? Well, it's obviously pretty destroyed. Wait, what was that? Is that another splicer? Uh-oh, I just drank some alcohol. 
And that's what happens when you drink a certain alcoholic drink. Make giving you a, a drunken feeling. Well, what is that? I just saw a pair of glowing eyes in that hole. Well, Rapture is clearly pretty messed up. Whoa, what? Where did you come from? There's another one. Die, you freaking monster! Okay, this was a lead head splicer. There are several kinds of splicers that you'll encounter throughout the game. And you'll also be encountering plasmids with guns. I uh, sorry, not I mean splicers with guns, not plasmids. And you can see that you there's a uh, money in this game as well. Which obviously means that there will be a store. Well, I didn't get drunk from drinking that. Oh, but I did from that, and I think I just lost some health from that. You can hit the Y button to either reload your weapon or use an E-Pipo. It obviously depends on which you have equipped. In fact, there are many times where I accidentally waste an E-Pipo because I don't realize I have plasma equipped. Those two were a piece of cake to kill because they were standing in a body of water. Anytime an, an enemy is standing near water, you can hit use the Electro Bolt and on the water and it'll pretty much kill them instantly. Maybe not instantly, but it really drains their health a lot. Okay, so I just picked up a diary right there, and you, you heard everything that woman was saying. And you saw that smoking cigarettes drains health, but also restores Eve. I gotta try to avoid smoking as much as possible. And I don't even know why I picked up those other cigarettes. And in case you don't realize, there's a, an arrow up, up on the screen. <gasps> Whoa, where did you come from? And this one, I think this blister had a machete on her. Keep the money and first aid kits coming. Hey, what was that? What's going on with my vision? Anything in this bathroom I can pick up? Well, you have the option to flush these, but I don't even see the point of that. You can also turn on the sinks, but again, what's the point? What the heck was that I just saw? Is something messing with my mind or something? Oh boy, another diary. Uh, so apparently there are, there's going to be a whole lot of diaries in the game you can pick up, and I'm sorry to say, but I really don't care for listening to any of these diaries, so I'm not I'm not going to be playing all of them. Would you kindly lower that weapon for a minute? Plus, you just heard the guy on that diary dropping an S bomb, so I'm definitely going to be censoring that when I edit this part. Now, when you get over here, you need to walk along you think that's a child down this there? or don't be fooled. Hey. Well, 
that don't count for much down in Rapture. Those little sisters, they carry Adam. The genetic material that keeps the wheels of Rapture turning. Everybody wants us, everybody needs us. So, it's that creepy little girl with the big eye I saw earlier. And Atlas calls them little sisters. No doubt they are monsters too. Okay, I, I was just looking around for items, but I think there's nothing. But now, something else is going to happen as soon as I come down these stairs. Watch this. Whoa. It's that big guy with the drill. And it's going to kill that splicer. Sweet mother of Oregon. Sweet mother of God. So it's called a big daddy. And that's definitely a, a big guy I don't want to mess with. Unfortunately though, I'm going to have no choice but to mess with it later on. And the game's now telling you to hit the plus button to go to the save option. Which I'm not going to do right now. I'm going to go into this room, where that big daddy killed the splicer. There, there are a few items you can get. Wait, what's this? Director's commentary? Okay, so that's another item you can pick up. But, just like with the diaries, I don't care for watching those films. I mean, you don't care for director's commentary, right? You want to see the game. Nothing else? Okay, another Vita Chamber. And there's a splicer. And this one has a gun. Drop the gun! That's what you get for trying to kill me. I'll be taking your ammo, thank you very much. I think that's the second time I said that in this video. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm pretty warmed up myself. I better heal up. In case you didn't realize, the I think the game told you that you can hit the B button to use a first aid kit. And I better be careful not to waste them either. You two just had to be standing in water. Oh hey, is that a big daddy right there? It looks dead. It is dead. That's good. And already I get another Vita Chamber. Now Atlas told me that his family's being held captive in Neptune's bounty. So that's definitely where he wants me to go next. Oh, did I just pick up... Uh, no, I... At first I thought I picked up cigarettes, but I think they were both bandages. Obviously they also restore your health. Again, what, what's the point of being able to interact with these? I don't think you get any kind of items from them. Right? Okay, let's just... Oh my god! Well, this sounds bad. What the heck? Oh my god! Did I not lose any hell from that fire somehow? Splicers, get that! Whoa, okay, you get that too, and get wrenched. You freaks really don't want to mess with me. Oh crap, I just drank some alcohol again. This is not a good time to get inebriated. Oh, come on, zap them. Okay, this one dodged the fire. I mean, uh, it dodged the electricity.
Okay, just give me a minute to get some more items. Oh yes, and you can only hold up to 9 e pipos and 9 first aid kits. So I'm clearly full on the first aid kits, but only have 5 e pipos left. But now that Atlas guy said to go to Medical Pavilion. Okay then. If that's gonna lead to... Okay, uh, but you better work fast. More splicers may be coming. Wait, what's this? So tell me, friend, which one of the bitches sent you? The KGB wolf or the CIA jackal? Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plunder. And Anne Ryan isn't a giddy socialite who can be strapped around by government muscle. And with that, farewell. I wonder if this Andrew Ryan guy is the cause of all this. But now the splicers are trying to break in. Atlas, hurry up with this door. Oh. Oh, thank God. Okay, I'm getting out. I'm so not going to die this early on. Okay, it's been over 30 minutes so far. I think this would be a good place to end part one. Just wanted to show the introduction to the game and... Medical, pavil medical Pavilion seems like a good place to stop. Ah, so he's the king, eh? Then he must be the cause of all this chaos. But that's going to be the end of part one for Bioshock. I, uh... Well, I hope you liked part one. And surely you'll like the rest of the playthrough as well. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you all later in part two.